hi welcome back to my channel uh, today is um, oh my gosh Wednesday, Wednesday the 16th of November um, I'm just putting a date stamp on that because I'm gonna post another video that I recorded like two plus weeks ago so they're probably both gonna go up today but um, this is like obviously later so let me get you just caught up a little bit um, from my last video which um, I I did start my cycle uh, I had off of work when I started I think it was um, Thursday of last week so today I'm like cycle day six or seven um, so I st I went in for my my cycle day two uh, blood work and they told me that I could go ahead and get started that day on the birth control pills, which I was sort of surprised about. I don't know why, like, I thought I had to wait. I guess because, like, in re when you regularly take birth control pills, which I never have, but I always thought you, like, take, like, fake ones for the first week when you have your period, and then the rest of the time you take the real ones. So... I don't know why I call them fake ones, but you know, they're like a different color. They're like white or something. So anyway, um, I was just surprised. So I did get started on the birth control pills. Um, and I've been taking them. I haven't, there's zero side effect to that. Um, except yesterday I had like a really, really bad headache. Um, but I'm assuming that could also be because I didn't really drink a ton of water yesterday. We have half days at school this week and um, it just gets like really busy for me in the office. So anyway, um, so that's that. And then today I went in for... Um, my saline sonogram oh my god so i have had a histiosalpingogram which you know i watched a ton of youtube videos before i went to that which was a huge mistake because um the, like the videos are so scary <laughs> i was petrified when i went this was like two years ago i had to go and um whatever i I took 800 milligrams of Motrin. Um, my brother-in-law is actually a radiologist, so that's what I didn't go to him, but that's what he suggested. And um, whatever, I brought my mom with me because I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to like drive home. Um, I felt nothing. I actually was like, "Are we done?" Like I had felt zero, nothing. It was like the easiest thing ever. So I attribute that obviously to the Motrin. Um, but, uh, so I did not watch any videos on the sa saline sonogram because, um, I didn't want to be afraid. I figured if the histiosalpingogram people say is worse than the saline sonogram, then I'll be fine. So, and I did have a girlfriend who, um, I asked her yesterday and she was like, no, it was a total breeze. It's fine. Whatever. So, I took 400 milligrams of Motrin and I went on my merry way. And the procedure itself was fine. Pressure, cramping, it was like not really that big a deal. And you're like so distracted because the doctor's like showing you what's going on and he's engaged, like my doctor anyway, was engaging me in what he was doing and he was showing me my uterus and whatever. And it turned out that there's nothing wrong. He said, I have a beautifully opened uterus. Well, thank you very much. And um, the only problem was that he could not get the catheter through my cervix. So for like 10 minutes, I'm thinking like the procedure is going forward because he's saying very little. He just keeps asking me if I'm okay and the nurse is asking me if I'm okay. And um, I'm feeling like pinching and pressure and I'm getting these like weird sensations. And um, I don't know, the next thing I know, he's like, okay, we're going to give this a shot. I don't know if it's going to work because I can't get the catheter through your cervix. I'm like, Jesus, we're like not done here. So anyway, he, um, he, they tried to do it like while the catheter was close to my cervix, but nothing was going and the water, the saline solution was actually like just coming out of me. So, um, so that was that he tried one more time. He got it through the second time, uh, really quick, which was so good. Thank you, God. Um, the only thing I wasn't expecting was like 
I guess maybe because they had such a hard time getting through my cervix. Or maybe it's normal. I don't know. This is my first time. But there was like a decent amount of blood. And I was like not expecting that at all. I was like, oh my God, this looks like a freaking horror show. Like I, I don't even know what to do right now. So whatever. I, you know, they give you a towel to clean yourself up. They give you like a, a pad and, and I went on my merry way. Um, it was fine. The actual, once they had the, um, the catheter through and they start pushing the saline solution through, it was maybe like all of a minute long. I mean, it was so short. So anyway, I was super excited, um, that they had good things to say and that there was nothing wrong. So yippee for me. Then I moved on to the nurse's, um, station so they could give me my instruction. And I was just assuming like now that this is over, I would just like go ahead and get started. Like I thought I'm done with birth control. I'm done with, you know, all of that. And we're just going to move on. And in a couple days I'll go. And then, um, cause the other nurse had told me, you know, she said tentatively, you'll probably just stop your birth control that day. And then you'll come back on Friday and then for your blood and ultrasound. And then you'll start on Monday your injection. So I was like, great. Well, I go into the nurse's station and she's like, oh, okay. So Take your birth control pills until the 25th. The 25th? It's the 16th. That's like nine more days. Uh, no thank you. Why? So I just was like, and she knew from the beginning that I didn't want to take the birth control anyway. So um, I was just like, oh my gosh, the 25th? Like, that's a really long time away. Like, why do we have to wait so long? There was really no answer because um, then I immediately asked another question because that's just what I do. I like rapid fire my questions out. Um, so she answered my second question, not my first question. And um, I just was asking, I asked her like tentatively if I stopped on the 25th and start the injections on the 28th, like then when would I actually have my insemination? I know it's hard for them to tell because everybody's body is different, but she answered that question. Anyway, I got out to the car. I wasn't really like super excited about that, but whatever, I have to do whatever they tell me. And, um, I was leaving and I'm in the car and I'm texting one of my girlfriends and, um, I get a telephone call from, the fertility center hadn't even like left yet so um she just said that they could change change the protocol and that I could stop taking the pills on the 20th and um then go in for my blood work on the 23rd and then start my injectables then which I don't I, like felt that I know it's only five days but like it made a huge difference to me so um so I'm glad about that and, um, cause that's really only going to take me like the next couple of days I'll have to take those, um, the birth control pills and then I'll be able to get started. And then it's kind of nice too. Cause like I have off for Thanksgiving break for four days. So like I can start taking my injections without having to like, um, I don't know, like be at work. I, I know it's like probably no big deal, but I like to have a little time off. Um, just in case, I don't know how they'll make me, f I really don't know. I know, I know it's probably nothing, but like, I never know how anything is going to make me feel. So it makes me feel good that I like, no, don't have to go anywhere. So that's that. Um, I think that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. I cannot wait to get started. I'm so pumped up. Um, and that's it. So once I get started, I think I'm going to do like a short I'm going to do a video of the first night that I do injections, and then I think I'm going to do, like, short snippets, like, every single day that I do the injections, and then I'll make, like, one video um, of all of that, and then discuss, like, once I'm done, um, you know, how that all goes. So, anyway, that's it, and I'll be catching up with you guys soon. Bye.